Hi there, today I'm going to answer 5 top questions that you asked me from my previous BlackBerry videos. Question number 1. Does WhatsApp still work? No, WhatsApp does not and will not work on BlackBerry Classic. Oh no! WhatsApp dropped support of Android versions 4.1 to 4.4 in October 2023. BlackBerry Classic only supports apps for Android version 4.2, so you need to look for apps that still support that version. It is still supported by Telegram X, for instance. This is a special version of the world-famous Messenger. It differs from the usual one by some technologies that still support Android 4.2. You can download the latest build in the group at the link that I put in the description. So, if you want to use messengers on your BlackBerry Classic, it's about time you started using a good one. Question number 2. How to activate a BlackBerry OS device? If you have an old BlackBerry lying around somewhere, it's time to activate it and enjoy using it again. See how to do that in my video here. Some people are not able to activate their BlackBerry. This is a known problem with this method, which you can read about on Reddit. However, I have not found a solution to what some people experience. My theory is that activation should be done with UI in English and on the latest BlackBerry OS version available for the device, which means the device may need to be flashed first. Maybe activation bypass is impossible if previously device was locked with BlackBerry Protect. Unfortunately, everyone who has problems with activation could not give me any answers, so please write in the comments what's your experience so far. In my video there's also links to the firmware you'll need, so be sure to read the description there. Question number 3. How long does the battery last? I made wrong conclusions in my unboxing video. From the beginning the reason of battery drain was a SIM card from my local cellular carrier, Ukrainian virtual network operator. The thing is, because it's a virtual operator, my SIM always switched between different networks and used domestic roaming, searching signal and thus draining the battery. Once I switched SIM cards and boom, no battery drain whatsoever. Although I don't have problems with this SIM on my other phones, my conclusions about BlackBerry Classic battery life were wrong anyway. What's the better life that I have as my BlackBerry Classic now? It's about a week in standby mode or several days of moderate usage. Question number 4. What about calls, SMS, email, VPN and YouTube? Naturally, calls and SMS work, unless you live in the US, of course. The USA is one of the few countries in the world that has already shut down 3G networks or plans to do so. In Ukraine, for example, nobody plans to switch off 3G networks for at least two more decades. Email accounts can still be added, at least Gmail. However, remember that if you have a two-factor authentication enabled, you will need to create an app password, then you need to manually fill in email settings, here's what you need to do. You can also manually configure a supported VPN service, such as hi.me, here's how to do it. YouTube can be watched using an Android app called New Pipe Legacy, however, the development was discontinued last year. The good news is YouTube can still be watched in BlackBerry browser, with the video itself performing much better than in New Pipe Legacy. And now bonus! How to make your BlackBerry Classic read an SD card with XFART format? You'll need to install a special driver, which is what the system will prompt you to do if you install an SD card with such format. However, the OS will try to download the driver from a server that is no longer available, therefore you need to download it manually, as always the link is in the description. So install the file, import it using a program called SACHC, which is available for Windows PCs or Linux, the link is in the description too. To summarize, what it's like to use a BlackBerry Classic in 2024. Well, actually, it's quite usable as your second phone. Remember, no one will target such a rare OS, plus 10 years later there's still no zero-day exploit or non-kernel vulnerability. 10 years later it's still a great smartphone for calling, texting and messaging in Telegram. You should definitely buy one on eBay if you're a journalist, political activist or anyone who wants to have a secure and smart enough medium of communication. Or if you just feel nostalgic about good old days. Thank you for watching this video, be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what do you think about this unique BlackBerry smartphone.